Alrighty, so I have a really interesting video today on King's Island. I'm actually really excited to make this video because I find it really fascinating. Um, so in today's video, I'm going to go over um, a couple of coasters that I think could be coming to King's Island. I'm going to rank them from what's most likely or sorry, least likely to most likely. Um, and of course, I'm going to assume it's going to be B&M. So if you're thinking it's going to be something else, this may not be the video for you, but I still want you guys to comment down below what you think is coming to Kings Island in 2020. I wanna hear from you guys. So comment down below, which coaster do you think is coming to Kings Island in 2020? And more specifically, which B&M if you're on the B&M bandwagon? I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of gigas down in the comment section. But this is Amusement Insiders and Giga and Amusement Insiders just go so well together. Um, so let's get this video started. All right. So obviously the, I'm going to assume, let's assume b &M, like I said in the beginning, I'm going to go with four coaster models. So I'm going to go over all four. Again, I'm going to rank them from least likely to most likely. So, um, the first coaster model that is least likely, but still a possibility. And again, comment down below throughout the video, because I am just a coaster enthusiast from Canada. Um, so I don't know all. So please do not take my opinions in this video as the end all or um, too seriously as I don't know what's going on at Kings Island in terms of coaster type. Um, I am just assuming that they're getting a BNM from information that has come forward, um, especially with Cedar Point focusing on going retro for their anniversary and kind of hinting at the fact that there may not be a coaster coming to Cedar Point in 2020. Um, now, with that being said, coming in at number four, so least likely in my opinion, is the Flying Coaster. Now, I have this ranked pretty low on the list for a couple of reasons. I think a Flying Coaster is going to be seen at Cedar Point before it's seen at any other Cedar Fair Park. The reason I believe that is the Flying Coaster has so many possibilities in terms of breaking records, and that is something Cedar Point really does well. So I honestly think the Flying Coaster is a better fit for a park like Cedar Point in the chain than going to Kings Island. I also, um, they just removed their kind of lay down Flying Coaster. So installing a Flying Coaster to replace it would make sense, yet it also wouldn't make sense at the same time if that sentence makes sense at all. Um, but uh, I definitely don't think a flying coaster is high up on the scale of things that could possibly be coming to Kings Island, but I wouldn't rule it out either. Um, again, I really want to hear from you guys. I'm going to be reading the comments down below what you think is coming to Kings Island because I am really interested in this project and really interested in what people think. Um, now, I don't really have any other reasons as to why a flying coaster wouldn't be coming to Kings Island. It seems like flying coasters are becoming a thing again, like dive coasters. We're seeing them pop up in China. Um, they've been there for quite some time, but they look really awesome. And I haven't been on Tatsu at Magic Mountain, but I've heard really good things about it, especially its iconic pretzel loop. So I would love to see one in the Cedar Fair chain. I think that we're really missing that in the Cedar Fair equation, a flying B&M coaster. Anyways, coming in at number three, three is definitely going to be and as you could tell i don't i'm like looking at my list and i'm like should i change things up i'm gonna go with the dive coaster so coming in at number three of kind of least likely is the bnm dive coaster now this one's really interesting so canada's wonderland's getting one in 2019 it's a very unique design it's different from your typical dive coaster design it's like almost like a d6 and a d8 kind of came together and became a out and back style dive coaster. It's almost like an out and back sit down BM coaster with dive coaster trains um, and a 90 degree drop. So it's very unique, very different, um, but I just don't think that fits into the Kings Island equation. And there's more reasons to that. Cedar Point has a dive coaster. Canada's Wonderland has a dive coaster. We're all in the Great Lakes region of North America, and it just wouldn't make sense to overcrowd the Great Lakes region in such a small kind of dome in terms of space and distance with dive coasters. Now, parks that I really could see getting a dive coaster in the future would be Carowinds. And I'm gonna make a separate video on that, so I'm not gonna dive too much into why I think Carowinds' next coaster after the mock double launch is going to be a dive coaster, but it has to do with Canada's Wonderland and Carowinds being sister parks. They're almost 
like I very identical. And I also think if Carowinds does get the dive poster, it will break Wonderland's records in some fashion, whether it be height, length, inversions, something. It'll break Wonderland's records in some form, just like Fury did for Leviathan. Um, again, I just don't see a dive coaster fitting in at Kings Island. I, I think that is for the Cedar Point draw. They That's a very popular ride at Cedar Point, and I think guests go to Cedar Point to ride Val Raven. It just wouldn't make sense to build a dive coaster within a three and a half hour drive, I think it is. Three and a half, four hour drive. I think that's gonna be Cedar Point's thing. Kings Island's gonna get something a little more unique. Now this is where things get really tough. Um, we're down to the last two models. Um, and this next one, I'm gonna place at number two. Now I have difficulty, uh, one day I'll wake up and I'll be like, no, we're, they're gonna get this. The next day I'll wake up, no, they're gonna get that. Um, and these two are very interchangeable and I know I'm gonna anger a lot of people by saying that, um, but again, I don't know anything and this is just my opinion. I think that coming in at number two is the wing coaster. So a B&M wing coaster is pretty likely to come to Kings Island. Not the most likely, but it's definitely up there and almost tied with the number one spot. Now, Kings Island in previous years has teased a wing coaster. If any of you remember the Bat is Back um, teaser for, I think it was Banshee. Correct me down below, but I think when they were um, teasing Banshee, the Bat is Back showed like a wing coaster, kind of like orange, black, and red kind of theming and color uh, on the main page. Now, that was definitely to throw people off, I believe. I don't think that was anything serious. They don't have coasters planned that far in advance. So I don't think that was anything to be taken too seriously. Now, um, a wing coaster, again, is over at Cedar Point, but Cedar Point does fall under the so close to Kings Island category that it is difficult for Kings Island to not build similar attractions to Cedar Point, which then also takes away that argument of the dive coaster. Now, a wing coaster is kind of a bit of a stretch as well because Gatekeeper is kind of an icon at Cedar Point. It's the first thing you see when you enter Cedar Point's gates. So that is why I'm gonna rank it at number two because I don't think Kings Island would steal Cedar Point's records from an icon attraction at the front gate. That's like that's like Cedar Point's like icon attraction right there. It would be very weird for uh, Cedar Fair to go, okay, we'll just go to Kings Island for the better version of it. Now, when they do build new coasters, they don't always have to beat Cedar Point's records. They don't always have to go for the record, but Kings Island is a park that does go after records as well. We saw that with Banshee, and I'm thinking we're gonna see that with the 2020 coaster. Um, again, it's very difficult. It could go either way. Could Kings Island get the wing coaster? Could they not get the wing coaster? I don't know. Um, just being frank with you, I have no idea. Now coming in at the number one spot, this is where everyone's going to applaud. Obviously everyone, including myself, thinks the B&M Giga Coaster is coming to Kings Island. Will it break records if it is a B&M Giga? Of course. Um, I think this is Kings Island's time. I think the space definitely hints at something very large out and back. I think that's gonna be a B&M Giga and um, it's just something that Kings Island really needs, and Millennium Force is really old. So taking away its records isn't going to be um, detrimental to the park. People don't care. Carowinds took its records. Um, other Gigas in North America are better than it. Um, I think the only you know, Giga that I think might not be better than it would be perhaps Leviathan. I think they would be pretty equal in terms of like what's better. But um, Fury and I-305, in my opinion, look way better than Millennium. So Kings Island taking away that record wouldn't be detrimental as well. Now, would b &M, would a B&M Giga at Kings Island take away Fury's record? I think so. I think it's time, the time's appropriate. Guests over at Carowinds don't care what Kings Island's doing, like way up <laughs> the road. So I think it's okay for uh, Kings Island to come in and steal those records from um, Eerie. I think it wouldn't do anything to Carowinds, and I think that's what Cedar Fair is looking at. Anyways, hopefully you guys really enjoyed this kind of top four coasters that could be coming to Kings Island in 2020. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great weekend. Bye.